My name is Carlo Maranki. I've been with the CCID for two and a half years now, working as a precinct manager within the Urban Management Department. As a precinct manager, my role involves walking my designated precinct, which starts from Beitengracht all the way down to the company's gardens and a section between Wales Street and Beitensangel Streets. I oversee the operations in terms of cleaning, so that would be your street sweeping, your minor maintenance work, road maintenance, gardening services, graffiti removal, hotspot cleaning. One of the problems that I've picked up specifically in my precinct would be legal posters and stickers. Um, as most people may not know, uh, tagging and stickers is one of the art forms of hip-hop. So in terms of that, you have people who will go around tagging different sorts of surfaces. It would be your electric boxes, building walls, pillars. I identify stickers, taggings, posters on a daily basis when I'm doing my rounds in my precinct. I then compile a, a report sheet which gets sent off to our NGO partner Stratwerk. We have a graffiti removal team. They will identify the locations that have been plotted on those sheets and then they will go and remove those taggings, posters and stickers. And one of the trends that we have picked up is that a lot of these posters and taggings would occur at night. Uh, it's a lot easier to do it when there's darkness or shadows around so people are easily able to walk by an area, just quickly slap a tag on. If they're doing it by koki or with spray paint, they can easily do it in the shade because nobody is able to see them. So they will do it quickly and then they'll move on to the next area where they will continue doing what they are. We have dedicated sweeping teams at night, so they would be deployed into various areas. They attend to all the cleaning issues in terms of sweeping. They also identify areas of illegal dumping. They will look for any evidence. Where evidence is found, it gets reported and we get the assistance of our law enforcement officers to either deal with the business owner or where they are unable to, it gets reported to us and we attend to it on the day shift. When it comes to the tagging removals, we've got biodegradable chemicals that can be used. So they spray it onto the surface, wipe it down, and that will remove your koki and paint-based uh, taggings. When it comes to the posters and the stickers, they also use a biodegradable chemical. So they will first spray it on, it will make the surface supple, and then they are able to remove the tagging or the poster. When I first started with the SID, I noticed that there had been major issues with dumpings in various areas. I always used to find that my streets were dirty, I had many different types of taggings all over, most of it was gang related, where taggers were battling for turf and trying to indicate who was bigger or better in terms of tagging in different sorts of locations. So you'd have people tagging high-rise buildings, tagging on scaffolding where they could, which is also a danger to them because they put themselves at risk. The changes that I have seen specifically in my precinct it's become a lot cleaner. We have deployed our teams in such a way that we are able to identify the hotspot areas and tackle those first when our teams come on shift and once that has been tackled and cleaned we then have our detailed cleaning which takes place in and around those various areas as well as covering all the deployment areas. My favorite spot in the CBD is where we are recording this at the moment. It's the company's gardens. I enjoy taking walks a year when I have an opportunity, the diversity of the cultures that come and explore the gardens itself. There's always a pleasantness and a warmth of the gardens or within the gardens and people just tend to come and enjoy themselves here.